Hi guys, it's Chicka Cola Matt. And yes, yo, Madam Nida, Chicka Cola Nida. Today I'll be eating Heck Bokomyan. Bulldog Bokomyan. So, two times spicy Bulldog Ramen. So, this is a limited edition 2017 Hanjong Pan. Heck Bulldog Bokomyan. Two times spicy. So this is the famous fire ramen that maybe two, three years ago, there was a whole bunch of challenges about this fire ramen. So this is two times spicier than the original. And actually, so this is a tinfoil bag ramen, not a cup ramen, tinfoil bag. So I made the noodles and I have the sauce and the sesame seeds and kim ready to go. So on the back, I'll show you, there's one, two, three, four levels of spiciness. The first level, level one, 2,323 SHU, that's cheese bulldog ramen and cool bulldog ramen. Second level, bulldog bokomyon, so the original, 4,404 SHU. Level three is... Bulldog Bokom Yon Tang Myung. So that's the soup at 4705 SHU. And there we got Heck Bulldog Bokom Yon at a whopping 8706 SHU. So level 4, Suhi 1%, Sinhui Kyongji. Level 3, Gosu. Level 2, Mania level one Ipmuja. So we'll get into the ramen now. So here's my bowl of ramen. And we got the Kim and the sesame seeds. Kim is seaweed in Korean. So we'll add that to the noodles. There you go. So that's not actually spicy, that's just like the vegetables for this ramen. Here is the spicy sauce. This bad boy. Two times spicy. Heck bulldog bokomyon. And ak, ak sang sup. So very, very, very hot. Two times spicy. I'll open this one up. Open it up. Along the line. It's not gonna rip clear, so we'll get all the sauce down there. We'll try this side. There we go. Clean cut, clean rip. Get the noodles so I don't do anything crazy. And the whole package goes into the noodles. So two times spicy. Just get the all the sauce in there. You don't want to skimp out on the sauce. Okay, we got that in there. And we'll mix it up. It smells similar to the original fire ramen. So, the sauce, I think it might just be the same sauce, but they just added more capsaicin to it. Or maybe like cayenne pepper. But this smells delicious. It looks almost a little darker brown than the original. But like almost like a golden brown, golden red, in between red and brown. So I'm anticipating this. Mix it up a little more. There is no water in this ramen. You're supposed to drain the ramen water before you eat it. So you can see the noodles, they went from white to like a brownish red. The noodles on this one are pretty hefty, they're pretty thick. So we'll try it, see how it goes. Okay. 
right away. The original Bulldog Ramen, you can eat some before the spiciness kicks in. This one, the spiciness already kicked in. It tastes almost like pepper sauce and the kim and the sesame seeds actually give it a little nutty, you know, seaweedy taste, which is pretty good. For spiciness right now, you can get a little kick. I can feel the kick, but it's not really like a overly spicy where I want to stop eating it. But the sauce is almost identical to the original Bulldog Ramen. So I'm pretty sure they just added the capsaicin to the sauce. So there is a little heat there. I'm feeling it. Like actually, the original Bulldog Ramen, I could probably wolf a couple of them down. This one, you actually have to maybe eat it a little slower. Because the noodles on this one I feel are way bigger. I could be wrong though. I don't know, it could be the spiciness that's kind of holding the back of it. <clears throat> right now, my nose isn't running. My eyes are burning a little. I'm saying on the scale of like 1 to 10 of the spicy foods I've ate so far, maybe a 6. It's a little spicier than average. I would say the Bulldog Ramen is probably like a five or a high four. There is many spicier foods than the original Bulldog. But this one is getting up there. The thing with it is, it's ramen, it's not really the spiciness that gets you, it's the amount of ramen you eat. Like if I ate one pepper, that was maybe 10,000 skull units, you could eat that. Not that bad, and your mouth wouldn't be that bad. But if you ate like a big pepper, that was 10,000 skull units, you know, you eat it and you keep eating 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 the capsaicin oil keeps building up in your mouth so this one I'm almost finished I'll drink the soup sort of a little soup sauce in the bottom So now, I finished, my nose right now is running a little. As for my mouth, not really on fire, I'd say my lips are probably the only thing that feels a little hot. My tongue and my mouth is okay, 
but my eyes right now they're really really watering so if you're maybe prone to like spicy foods I probably wouldn't eat this like if your doctor said don't eat really spicy foods I probably wouldn't recommend this but so this limited edition heck Bokum, Bulldog, Bokumion. And actually, heck is like bomb in English. Mmm, sauce. I like earlier, I could eat that sauce maybe like a little more. I think if I ate enough of that sauce, I'd probably get, you know, to the point where I don't want my mouth to feel like hot, hot, hot. But like right now, <clears throat> The only thing that's really like feeling the heat again is my eye, my nose, little runny, and my lips, my tongue, my mouth, not even that hot. So, yeah, the year of the rooster, the bomb. It's so, like heck cool jam, that means very good, daybok, like jackpot. Oh, bok un, dalk un, hey. So, yeah, the year of the rooster. So the Chinese New Year, Korean New Year, Solal New Year. This year is the year of the rooster. So they did two times spicy for 2017. And heck is the bomb. So actually calories on this thing. Check the calories out a bit. 545 calories. Hul. So you don't want to be eating many of these in one time. A challenge like eating two or three of these, that's enough calories for like a day's worth of food. 2,000 calories is one day's food, so if you eat four of these, you're good for the day. So it has Aksang Sup, Chung Dal Gogi, Haprang 0.82%. So right now, Samyang, my mouth is actually getting a little cooler. I'm not actually getting any of this really spicy. My hands still have some. But yeah. For a two times spicy ramen, I'm not really feeling many, many, like, different from the oregano, the original ramen. So in the back there again, it shows how to make it. You boil the water, and you empty the water out, and you put the sauce in, and then you mix and eat it. So I've had before when I made these videos, people have said, oh, burp, that, you know, why you dump out the water, you're removing the water. This style of ramen, maybe a bokum yon, you're not supposed to have the water, you pour the water out. This isn't a soup ramen. Actually, level three is bodao bokum tang myon. That's myon. That's actually the soup style. There's a stew, so actually I'll go through the, I've eaten the cheese, this ramen, I ate the original, I made like a parody video of the original style, and the soup stew ramen, actually I have eaten it, but I never made a video of it, I might make a video of it if you guys leave a like and ask for the soup style, but it actually changes it a little bit, the soup has like onions and more vegetables in it, it's not really the same taste, it has a little different taste. But it still has the hot spiciness, the same package. All the Bulldog Ramens, they have this package. So, for this, oh, it's got sauce everywhere. It's not really at the point where I'm going to stop eating the sauce. It has 1,430 milligrams of salt. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So for this one, I'd say on a scale of one to ten, like the deliciousness of ramens, it's actually about like an eight. I'd say I'd pick this one up over the original. You know, it's got a good kick and it gives your mouth a little watering. But you know, compared to really, really, really spicy foods, it's not really up there. Again, as a six, maybe a high six, low seven, but it's not really gonna make you like. You know, drink a gallon of milk. The people who drink a gallon of milk with the original Bulldog Ramen, I think they're doing it just, you know, for, like, uh, maybe exposure, you know, 
fire ramen. And then they, ah, oh, so hot. And they drink a gallon of milk. It's not that bad. The two times spicy is doable. If you're not, like, maybe prone to, like, maybe heart disease or something. Maybe if you can't handle spicy food, go for the cool bokkeumyeon or the cheese bokkeumyeon. It's very good. The cheese is kind of good. And the cool bokkeumyeon is the exact same as this. But instead of going two times up, it's half of the original. So it's not that bad. So thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like this video, leave a like. Comment more about ramen. There's many new ramens coming out because it's 2017. So and I want to remember, you can leave a comment. I said like again. Check cold out.